So, I was sitting last night thinking about this, uh, unrelated to going to sleep, apparently, and I was like, you know what? I bet people online, or those in data centers who don't want to buy a cable and want to be cheap, little tiny data centers, right? Small guys. But look, 10K thermistor pack, super cheap on Amazon. So 10K thermistors, that's all you need. And then the wiring guide here. So um, if we look at TIA, EIA colors for these pins, because this is just going to be Cat5, right? So orange stripe, orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, brown stripe, brown. So green and brown stripe are where our sensor leads need to be. Well, we just look at TIA, EIA, B on this terminal. We'll punch down on the B. And we'll, uh, we'll put the sensor leads where they need to be for TIAEIB. This is a, a LandGuard uh, block. You could obviously use anything else. But the point is you could just create a sensor end that you could just plug into your cable and then have <laughs> the, cheapest, the cheapest APC temperature sensor ever. So give me a second. I'll build one up here. All right, again, so using the pinout guide, the sense wires, right? So orange stripe, orange, green stripe. So between orange and green stripe, we're going to do a jumper, which is what we've done there. So that's the blue wire. And that jumper is a quote-unquote zero to 0.4 ohm, right? Because that's the idea is with the cable length plus the jumper is between zero and four ohm for it to be a temperature sensor. And then the sensor leads, right? So orange stripe, orange, green stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, brown stripe, green and brown stripe. We've terminated the thermistor. Now... Uh, I could fold this in to make it more pretty, but I just want to kind of show it for purposes of illustration here. Because what I could do is I could just put this all together and heat shrink it, um, which we'll probably end up doing. But I've got a piece of patch cable here. Uh, so let's go plug it in and see what the hell happens. All right, so here we are in the rack. Uh, ignore the Geiger counter. We'll talk about that in another video. But uh, this here, little temperature sensor on a on a stick, <laughs> little, little tiny jumper. We're just going to pop it in number five. And then uh, let's go sign in and see what it looks like. And would you take a look at that? Sensor NB5, 66.4 degrees, um, which I should mention the 64.9 with the humidity is the official sensor. Uh, so you can see there might be a little bit of a delta there. I also just plugged it in, so it could still be warm. But I'm going to guess, you know, my thermistor's probably, you know, not the best. It's, it's Amazon Chinesium, but that's the point. Like, it's within a couple degrees. It was super cheap. Who cares? Um... This is probably a good illustration too. Like, if you want the uh, the the vendor accurate one, just just pay the two hundred bucks and get theirs. But if you want to build one cheap, out of a Keystone Jack and like less than five cents of parts, there you go. So there you go. Make yourself some uh, temperature sensors that don't break the bank. Buy a cheap bag of ten k thermistors and uh, whack one on a Keystone Jack. Short one lead. You save yourself two hundred fifty bucks. Um, hopefully this helps other home labbers out there who want to enjoy some cool monitoring. Have a good rest of your day, guys.